Hua Hing is becoming a destination hit for many. It has a beach, the air quality is better than most Thailand destinations, the internet speeds are fast, and good modern condos are cheap and available. Would Hua Hing be your retirement destination? As of now, we're both planning and excited to move to Thailand to check it out very soon as a potential retirement destination among many other countries. And we thought before leaving, we'd create a Thailand series of some of the cities we're potentially thinking of going to. Visitors to Hua Hing talk highly of the town. It has that great weather, kind-hearted people, exotic food, and cheap prices. It actually first started as a tourist destination, but an expat community is growing increasingly in numbers here. Currently, there are over 4,000 foreigners living in Hua Hing, and the numbers are increasing. Let's see why in the following points. Number one, some facts about Hua Hing. Hua Hing has a population of about 70,000, and foreigners make up about 15% of that population, most of them retired. It was originally built as an escape from Bangkok for Thais, and is still used by many more Thais than foreigners. The diversity of all brings a wide range of people coming from various backgrounds, beliefs, religions, and lifestyles. Many expats from Europe and England have retired here, but many more foreign nationals are making it their home after their retirement. It's a town of approximately two and a half hours south of Bangkok, some 125 miles, 200 kilometers south of the capital city of Bangkok, along the Gulf of Thailand. It's famous for being the location of the King of Thailand's Summer Palace, and is a very popular place on weekends when Thai tourists stream in from Bangkok. Together with the expats and retirees, the community has Bangkok residents who have purchased homes to make weekend getaways and eventually retiring themselves to Hua Hing. Located close to the equator, it is pleasantly warm throughout the year. Temperatures often remain within the range of 77 Fahrenheit to 25 degrees Celsius to 86 Fahrenheit to 30 degrees Celsius. It's through the months of October to April that Hua Hing enjoys the most pleasant temperatures, with humidity levels equaling some of the lowest in the country. During the rainy season, Hua Hing also seems lucky enough to receive frequent showers. The climate is hot and tropical, so expect to endure some rain and tropical storms. Monsoon season starts in May, but the heaviest periods of rain occur from September to November. There are also 15 golf courses in operation. It's a place to go if you're a golf enthusiast. It isn't the cheapest destination in Southeast Asia, but the cost of living is reasonable by Western standards. The infrastructure is good, healthcare is modern and affordable, and the overall standard of living is excellent. In Hua Hing, a retired couple could enjoy a comfortable upper middle class life on a budget of about $2,000 per month. It has its long beaches, it's close to Malaysia, it's quiet and uncrowded, and has a laid back vibe. There's also fast Wi-Fi, quality low cost condos, grab taxi, and a lot of what you may love about Thailand. Cheap massages, Thai food, 7-Eleven, pools, and you've got a great destination to either go into a mini retirement or live as an expat or digital nomad. Now there isn't as many tourists, about a million tourist arrivals each year here. It does get busier during weekends in general and there are less digital nomads but that can be a good thing and it's not just some beach town. With the influx of Farangs, Thai for foreigner, there are more and more services aimed at the Farang community. There are local foreign language newspapers, internet forums in Italian, German and British. There's also English language radio stations and cable TV offered in British, German, Italian, French, Japanese, Korean and Chinese. The Thais as Buddhists are very accepting of diversity, however the expats community views on diversity will range from those you see in their own countries. The Thai culture is of course dominant, but the expat community has also introduced a lot of its varied cultures, mostly food, into the city. Number 2. Food in Hua Hing Hua Hing is a top holiday destination, and it shouldn't be surprised to find some of the best dining establishments ready to serve locals and expats alike. There are a host of bars, pubs, and eateries that populate the city center to serve the needs of the residents. As mentioned before, the diversity of Hua Hing also brings in a huge range of food you can get here and cheaply. Just follow the locals of where the good spots would be. Given that it's a fishing town, huge catches are offered at some of the seafood restaurants along the night market. There are overwater restaurants in the heart of Hua Hing and is a grand tradition followed by generations of Bangkok residents escaping for the weekend. You'll be getting 100% authentic Thai dishes. The food is one of the greatest assets it offers in Hua Hing. Delicious food options are around every corner at a great affordable price. A meal at an inexpensive restaurant would be $1.79 between $1.30 and $2.60 USD. 
A meal for two people at a mid-range restaurant for a three-course meal would be $19.50 between $11.30 and $32 USD. Food is definitely part of the cost of living, where there is money to be saved, and most restaurants serve dishes with authentic Thai taste and be good at it, or go out of business in this most competitive of industries. But there are also Western foods as well, but look to pay way more for them. Number 3. Places to live in Hua Hing you can search locally or even run through online sources. You'll be surprised to get fully furnished studio apartments for as low as 12,000 baht in Hua Hing, equaling to almost $380 per month. But keep in mind that these prices can vary depending on the time of year you choose to stay, a place with a view of the beach, and whether you choose to rent out for a longer period of time or a shorter one. Most of the places also offer free internet and TV. An apartment one bedroom in city center would be $530 between $390 and $977 per month USD. An apartment one bedroom outside the city center would be $322 between $228 and $456 USD per month. While the rent itself is low, the charges that come from home expenses such as air conditioning, television and internet can vary. Depending upon how much you use your air conditioning, the cost of electricity can range from $25 to $150 per month, while cable can start as low as $20 per month. So overall, home living expenses can range between $500 and $600 per month for a one bedroom condo. But still with these add-ons, rental expenses are very low as compared to the United States, Europe or many other parts of the Western world. Number 4. Entertainment in Hua Hing Hua Hing hosts many gems if you know where to find them. There's an annual Hua Hing Jazz Festival, one of the famous festivals in Hua Hing. Musicians and visitors from all over Thailand and abroad come and visit to perform. There's also the Hua Hing Regatta, a sailing contest held in August each year in the honor of the king who is known to have a keen interest in sailing. Hua Hing is a nice place to retire because it has a mix of everything. Retirement life in Hua Hing looks fun and exciting with beaches, food and festivals, not to mention the friendly community spirit among locals and expats. And for the golf lovers, there are golf courses, 15 of them as mentioned earlier. You can also learn about Thai culture, cuisine and history. You can start learning the language and learning Thai cooking as well. Some even have affordable tropical fruits like papaya, mango, sweet pineapple and bananas, all fresh from their local food market for breakfast. $15 will give you enough fruit and vegetables to last the whole week for two. You can definitely travel as well. Hua Hing offers many opportunities for exploration as well. Beach locations, ancient cities and national parks of unique beauty and habitat, populated with rare and exotic species of plants and animals. It's too hot to stay in your apartment anyways. There are also shopping malls and high quality but affordable restaurants. But the most popular daily activities in town would be the golf, beach going and many beautiful areas to take a stroll. The various businesses and attractions in Hua Hing are perfect for retirees and tourists alike and the town has everything you could need. While the town is popular among foreign retirees, the Thai culture is still incredibly strong in this town, partially due to the presence of the king's palace. Hua Hing has more street life and open air activities like markets and dining than most Thai towns. With Thailand being a country that loves doing things outdoors at night, that means Hua Hing has lots and lots of dining and other activities on the streets after dark. When you get bored of the beach, rent a car and start driving, either that or rent a car and a driver for things that are around. There's various monasteries, water parks, a floating market, a seafood market, and restaurants, several night markets and more. There's even an adventure village that have various nature trails. It has a great view of the town and you can interact with wild animals. You can go elephant trekking, horse carriages, polo and more. Number 5. Cost of living in Hua Hing So what has been described so far, it should give you a general idea of why the number of visitors as well as expats are permanently settling in Hua Hing. It's also fueling the growth of real estate in Thailand as well and it's another incentive. The local markets are more than capable of serving almost anything to shoppers. You can get fresh produce at really competitive prices as well. But for those who like big brands over local markets, Hua Hing also has Tesco Lotus stores. Hua Hing Market Village with its air conditioned shopping mall is popular as well with many stores, brands and an entertainment complex. Basic utilities for an apartment would be $85 between $32 and $110 USD per month. 
the internet would be $22 between $6.50 and $27 USD per month. A fitness club would be $56 between $48 and $64 USD. A cinema for an international release would be $6.50 between $3.90 and $7.80 USD. Internet service is readily available in Hua Hing. There are many internet cafes, coffee shops, bars, and restaurants that offer free Wi-Fi for their customers. SIM cards are available everywhere, and prepaid data accounts can be set up in seconds. It was also mentioned that they will be introducing Thailand's first free citywide Wi-Fi access in Hua Hing, giving open wireless network broadband to all Hua Hing residents and tourists, covering the area of one square kilometers to be expanded to eight square kilometers. Kilometers. There's also a 7% VAT tax that could be refunded at an airport on departure for those on the tourist visa. But for the very comfortable lifestyle, the monthly budget comes to at around $2,000 per month. But of course everyone's lifestyle are different and a lot of people are good at cutting corners to lower their expenses. But of course it will always be different living as a local and a different story living on a beach in a rented condo as a retiree enjoying the good life. One of the biggest benefits to getting a condo in Thailand as a foreigner is that it's relatively inexpensive to live a life of luxury. But because Thailand is not a western country, it still requires some adaptation. There are health insurance policies as well, as little as 20,000 Thai baht or $649 USD per year. Everyone's idea of entertainment varies from person to person and there is an estimate general entertainment and lifestyle costs for western expats living in Hua Hing. You can get a monthly yoga membership for $45 per month or other practices such as Muay Thai training are also available for similar prices. The Thai massage as Thailand is famously known for is cheap and readily available anywhere for 330 Thai baht $10 for an hour and a half massage. Quick trips to places like Bangkok and Chiang Mai could run you about 10,000 Thai baht, $300 for the weekend, including lodging and food as a couple. But for those that are looking to really budget in Hua Hing or Thailand in general, here are some points. Now I don't drink alcohol, it's a choice I made, and I don't smoke either. We actually intermittent fast, so we only eat two meals a day, sometimes one big meal per day. So we don't eat three times per day like a regular human being. Because of the heat, some people start eating less naturally anyways. You can eat street foods or go to restaurants or eat in the mall even at 7-Eleven when it's too dark to go anywhere else. Now there are many western restaurants and groceries in Hua Hing and this is where the cost rise. So you don't have to worry about having to only eat Thai food all the time but know that western food is more expensive. But although the cost of living is low, you should look for good quality foods rather than price since it concerns your health. Air conditioning takes a lot of electricity, so you can be mindful of how you use it. There's cable TV you can cut as well, but eating a lot of the time at home is advised. But some say it doesn't make a difference eating at home versus eating out, case by case. You also don't need your own private car in Hua Hing. Tuk-tuks and taxis are cheap and cost starts from 100 baht for a trip within Hua Hing. Number 6. Pros and Cons in Hua Hing Now let's talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of living in the seaside town of Hua Hing. One pro would be that there is a diverse expat population in Hua Hing, making the locals accepting to different people from different cultures. Many expats come from all over the world, with English being spoken collectively among them. Despite many expats being from countries that don't have English as their native language, most expats use English as their chosen language to common communication. It also has an incredibly low crime rate, known of being the most peaceful beach town in Thailand. Many expats who have lived in the area for several years have mentioned that crime has not affected them and that they have felt safe. It's also not overly crowded and remains a calm, happy place, perfect for retirement. Healthcare is also incredibly affordable and high quality. There are multiple hospitals. With the increase of residents came the improvement of healthcare and the safety and health of those living in Hua Hing continues to improve as well. Hua Hing does get a little congested in the town center, but around it, it isn't a problem. But it does get busy on the weekends and holidays where it gets pretty packed, but compared to Bangkok, it's still better overall. The pollution in Hua Hing is nice. It's by the sea and is surrounded by mountains, and there's always a breeze making it feel cooler than most cities in Thailand, and because of this, it has a very high air quality. Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai during the burning season is pretty bad as an example. Let's now look at some of the cons for Hua Hing. 
There are at times police checkpoints on major roads, not really a bad point, but they check driver's licenses and that's it. Hua Hing would be a location of one of the royal family's holiday palaces, so security is likely to be enhanced when the royals are in town. Traffic could make it dangerous for any expats who want to drive in the city or rent scooters. Although driving in any city can be dangerous, it is something that is important to keep in mind. There are some places with no sidewalks. Also, if you choose to walk, you constantly have to give way to cars and motorcycles. Running across the road will be common. Hua Hing is also famous as a beach destination, but it's not famous for its beach. There are stray dogs on the beach with horse and dog poop. Residents also complain about increased pollution from shipping. The beach is nice to look at, but it may not be a good place to spread your towel on. The beach at Hua Hing isn't a stunner. It's big and long and stretches round the bay, but it's not good for sunbathing. There's a strong wind that hits the beach, making it perfect for windsurfers, but less for relaxing. Beach access is also poor along most of Hua Hing's long coastline. There's also cockroaches and some cat-sized rats. It sometimes doesn't make walking at night pleasant, but most might not face these things on a daily basis. There are also few jobs available for foreigners, mainly as English teachers. Westerners who have other jobs here tend to be those transferred by their companies. It's a good location for digital nomads as internet access is pretty good. There are a few who have moved here and open up businesses, usually bars and restaurants, but most are either on winter vacation or permanent vacation. The center of Hua Hing is almost solid concrete with little open space or greenery. It's also jammed with traffic, but at peak hours and on weekends. Thousands of Thai families come to Hua Hing Beach each weekend for relaxation and fun. Many foreigners and retirees from around the world looking for a serene, scenic and convenient living prefer to settle in a coastal town. With plenty of sandy beaches and crystal clear water, with amenities of modern life, Hua Hing is fast becoming the top choice for many of the people. Warmth in the sun, cool in the breeze, soft sandy beaches with food and accommodation that is reasonably priced, coupled with some great real estate investment opportunities, sounds like a great place to retire. It's also safe in Hua Hing where it offers many amenities. This beautiful peaceful beach town is the perfect place for retirees hoping to affordably live abroad and is popular among the Thai as well. Well tell me what you think of living in Hua Hing in the comment section below. If you like this vlog, please don't forget to give me a like, subscribe. If if you haven't already, hit that notification bell for more of my coming content here. Thank you for watching my vlog. I hope you have a great day and see you soon.